Hi there, uh, my name is Hugh Davies Webb and I'm with Brompton Technology and I'm going to show you uh, the Tesla uh, LED video processing system. So this is basically it. We have um, our big M2 processor over here which is our flagship processor. We have um, our smaller K-series processor here which is a smaller processor in our range. We have our panel controller cards and we have um, our Tesla management software. Now what's this all about? Well, um, many uh, big rental companies and owners of uh, uh, LED video screens have been buying um, screens from China and Korea. The Chinese and Koreans are very, uh, very creative and very clever at making um, innovative LED products. And um, rental companies have been quick to capitalize on, 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 on buying these and bringing them into their rental stocks. However, one of the problems that rental companies often find is that the processing side of things is somewhat lacklustre and does not necessarily give them the features uh, that, that they want to be able to, to work effectively in the environments that they, 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 they work in. And um, typically this means that the processors are often used with scan converters. Um, a scan converter uh, is an expensive uh, piece of equipment that adds latency and adds complexity to video systems. And um, in our, both our products, um, the, the, the need to use a scan converter uh, is, is uh, uh, obviated basically because the front side processing uh, side of uh, our products is very strong. So in our big processor, we can have DVI, um, we can have uh, two, we've got two SDI inputs, so you can put the camera system directly into the processor. We've got the display port inputs uh, coming along the way. We have uh, uh, scalers built into our processor so you can scale up and scale down, which is another another feature that uh, scan converters bring. And um, this allows you to um, this allows that everything to be brought onto the processor, simplifies the process, and makes things easier to use. Um, one of the other things that uh, uh, we do is uh, basically we have these panel controller cards. So what happens is it in with your your new um, your new LED panel or your existing uh, LED fleet is that you retrofit our panel panel controller cards and that allows us you to use our processors. Now why do we need to do this? Well these are considerably more powerful than um, the standard issue uh, panel controller cards because they're doing an awful lot more for you. One thing they do is we feature, we've got gigabit ethernet so our system distributes the data to panels using uh, proper real gigabit ethernet um, it works at uh, the, uh, level two, uh, sorry, layer two, which means that you can use uh, traditional network switches and networking techniques to dis dis distribute your data around your, your LED uh, uh, walls. Uh, also, because this has got a built-in switch, it means that you can daisy chain panels together, and the panels talk bi-directionally with, with our, 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 our processing systems, which means that they can feed back things like uh, temperature, orientation because the panel controller cards have got accelerometers in them, uh, firmware version um, and uh, network status uh, and uh, things like this so that, that you can get real-time updates as to the, the process of your, the, the, the status of your LED products. Um, one of the other things is that, that our protocol um, allows us to have very tightly uh, tight control of the timing that goes around our, the, the, the video system. So. Uh, we can knock uh, all our panels together. The panels refresh at exactly the same time. So um, even down to the fact that you can plug a, a bi-level or tri-level sync in from a, a, a camera system or lock to a, a, a media server uh, or lock to an SDI source, for, again from a, an OB truck. And um, the, the, our, our, having our own protocol means that we can uh, control when those LEDs refresh so they can refresh uh, at exactly the time that, that, that's appropriate uh, for the timing uh, signal that's being sent into it. So in the case of a, a bi-level or tri-level sync that your cameras are uh, completely locked to the screen refresh which is a, another great thing. Um, the panel controller cards also have a per pixel calibration system which means that all your LED panels look the same. One of the great problems with having um, different uh, 
uh, LEDs, even if you've bought, gone to China and bought your LED panels and then gone back a couple of months later and bought some more of the same kind, that they look different, they've got a different colour. Well, we have a, a perfect sort of colour color calibration system that allows us to maintain the colour consistency across your LED, the whole, whole LED fleet, so they look the same colour-wise. Um, we also can have a, a clever way, uh, or a couple of clever ways of, of uh, maintaining the colour bit depth and dynamic range when you use LED products at low luminance uh, at levels. So typically, uh, if you use um, LED walls in indoors, uh, in environments like television studios, or on concerts or in events, uh, often a 5,000 or 6,000 nit LED wall is too bright for, um, uh, for indoor use. And invariably, you have to uh, use it at a fraction of the rated, the rated uh, output. And when you drop the luminance uh, of, of the screen, you drop the, the, the color bit depth and dynamic range, which can be a, an enormous problem um, for, for content creators and just making the screens look nice. Our intelligent control of uh, luminance means that um, uh, we can maintain the color bit depth and the dynamic range, uh, which means the screen's gonna look great whatever luminance uh, 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 settings that we use them at. Now, the heart of the system is, is our uh, Tessera management software. And the management software runs either locally on, on, on our processors by plugging a keyboard, mouse, uh, and a monitor into the, the processor itself, or from a remote uh, Mac or PC laptop, and the user experience is exactly the same. So taking, taking a leaf out of the book of people like Adobe, uh, we ensure that uh, the user experience of our software is exactly the same. It looks exactly the same, whether you're using it on Mac, PC, or on the processor itself. Um, our software allows you to uh, drag and drop panels onto the canvas. Um, and even if you've got a reasonably complicated arrangement of panels that you've connected into the back of the processor, um, we can make it, uh, the, the, the processor will detect the panels within a couple of seconds um, because we have um, auto detection and as long as you, you let the processor know vaguely how you've wired the panels up, it's, it's a matter of a couple of clicks to get your, 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 your screen up and working very quickly. We can do things like creative uh, layouts of panels by dragging and dropping the panels around and um, uh, we can do to deal with scaling, for instance. Scaling is a drag and drop exercise. We have complete control of, of, of our uh, color parameters for, for, for all our sources coming into the processor. So, uh, in, in, including live histograms. As I said, we've got we've got a couple of scalers uh, built into each input channel um, of our of our processor. This has one input channel. This has two, and that gives us we can scale up, scale down. And, and have a region of interest support as well. Um, we've got uh, things, nice, neat features like presets, for instance. Presets allow us to record uh, video uh, input parameters like our color settings for different sources. We can uh, store scaling, positional information of the panels on, on, on our canvas, um, and even with uh, fade times. So we can fade between one source and another source store this as a preset. We can also uh, store positions um, and all our uh, color parameters. We can set and store luminance settings. So you can put this all on a button push or control the whole processor using DMX, um, which seems like a, you know, the lighting guy is taking control. But imagine being able to put uh, a little six-way uh, DMX manual uh, console uh, with the vision uh, engineer and an OB track so they can balance screens on their own. And that saves a massive problem if you're doing outside broadcast um, and the vision engineer is complaining about the brightness of your screens. Give him a little desk of his own to fiddle with whilst he's tracking cameras. So we've got all that as well. So our video processing system solves a, an, an awful lot of problems for, for, for people in, in, in the business. And hopefully uh, we, we'd like our, our protocol to become the, sort of the DMX of, 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 of the panel, panel control. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you for listening.